Don't forget, guys, to please. Uh, no, I don't want to say please. Don't forget, guys, to don't. What up guys, The Fighting Therapist here and for today's session, I got you guys a full body resistance training workout. So the workout is gonna compose of three to five sets. If you're at home doing this alone, I suggest doing a little bit more, so roughly six to eight sets. I did the workout just yesterday with the cameraman behind the screen and the action. We did about six sets and we used the first one as a warm up set. Each exercise you're gonna do for eight to 10 reps. So pick a resistance that's gonna give you that eight to 10 rep range. If you don't have it, don't worry. Utilize the exercise that I am showing you and bring it to just about failure on every single set. Don't forget guys to click that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. So to start things off, the whole workout is gonna be a upper body push, a upper body pull, a lower body push, and a lower body pull. And you could switch these up, but for this session, our exercises were up, upper body push is shoulder press, upper body pull is inverted row or pull-ups, lower body push is a goblet squat, and lower body pull is a deadlift, and then we added in a core circuit, which we kept it to crunches to the sky or core get-ups. For the first exercise, for shoulder press, you can do this different ways. If you have weights at home or a, or a barbell at home and you're lucky enough, you could do that for shoulder press. If not, what we did here is handstand push-ups. So if you're very strong and eight to 10 rep is your range in a full handstand push-up, then you do that. If that is too hard, you're gonna get down on your hands and knees. You're gonna put your feet on a bench, on a stool, on your couch, anything like that. You're gonna put yourself in a type of L and you're gonna go for handstand push-ups that way. And if that's too hard for you, you guys are gonna go into a downward dog position and do your handstands there. For your upper body pull exercise, I showed this in another workout that I did before, how to set up a inverted pull station at your house. Again, you could do it under your tabletop, but I really suggest you guys stick with a nice, strong, sturdy stick. If you don't have that at home, you can use a broomstick, just be careful. If you are too heavy, you might snap it, so just a little fair warning here. If you're lucky enough to have a pull-up bar, you could use a pull-up bar as well. To make the exercise harder or easier for each person, you're gonna keep your legs nice and straight if you're doing your inverted rows. If it's a little too hard for you, just bring one foot in, keep one foot bent. And if that's too hard for you, you're gonna bring both feet in and then you're gonna rep that out. For your upper body push exercise, goblet squats, again, having a weight would be great. You can hold a backpack that's loaded with books. You can hold um, a water jug if you guys have that at home as well. I didn't have that, so I just used an elastic. I placed it out in front of me. I kept an elastic that was gonna give me roughly an eight to 10 rep range amount of tension, and we wrecked that out. For the upper body pull, you guys don't need any deadlift material. You don't need a barbell. If you have weights, again, that's great. If you do have a barbell, that's great. I just took the heaviest resistance that I had, and I doubled it up. I put my feet wide, so we're doing kind of a sumo deadlift, and I drove up. The band almost felt like I was doing roughly 200, 250 pounds, roughly. So getting something that's gonna cause you to have eight to 10 reps, that's what we want. Like I said, if you don't have any of these things, loading up a bag, a backpack, a water jug, and using that for your deadlifts, or carrying two things on your side and coming down like a suitcase deadlift, that works as well. For core, for the crunches to the sky, again, we're trying to flatten that back down so we have that uh, TVA engaged, our core is engaged and we're gonna crunch up this time. For this circuit, we're focusing more on the upper rectus abdominis because the other day, if you did do the other workout that I posted, we focused more on the lower abs. So now we're switching things up. If you have a weight, you're lucky enough, you could crunch with that. If you don't have a weight, don't worry about it. Go until failure. So that's it for this circuit, guys. It was more of a resistance training uh, type of workout to really stimulate the muscles as much as possible. I just wanna add in, in this video, if you are following Brad Schoenfield, I will put his social media stuff down below. He just published an article, or should I say shared an article, about how you can cause hypertrophy gains through high volume loads. So pretty much a little summary of the article was, since now we don't have the capability of being in the gym and doing a lot of mechanical loading, so we can't stack up that barbell, because a lot of us don't have that at home, going up until failure, 
is gonna be the best way to still elicit hypertrophy gains and strength gains. So just cause you're at home and you're like, wow, I'm doing this, I don't know if I'm really helping any gains or anything like that, you are. You're bringing your muscle to complete failure and you're stimulating it and you're getting gains and you're staying active at home besides just sitting down and doing absolutely nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did try out the video, please go down below, put in the comments, let me know how it was, let me know how you felt, let me know any other creative ideas that you guys switched it up to do the exercise that you did. And uh, yeah, it's your boy, that's it, Zach. Thanks for watching. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. Peace.